Welcome to Reef HQ Aquarium, the National Education Centre for the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority. My name is Katie and I'm a Reef Education Officer here at Reef HQ Aquarium. And today we have a very special video for you. A puppet show about a young turtle who grows up on the reef. During the show you'll meet many different characters who will give advice to the young turtle and help her stay safe. And there's one special character who will ask for your help as well. There's also a worksheet and colouring in sheet available to download after the show. So listen carefully and see if you can help our little turtle learn about some of the threats that marine turtles face every day on the reef and in the oceans all around the world. Have you ever wondered how the animals at the Great Barrier Reef Aquarium got their names? This is the story of how the aquarium's green turtle got her name. And it begins one bright moonlit night on a long sandy beach. And I won't eat you either. Ha! I'm not scared of you anyway. Uh, not today, anyway. I'm so full <coughs> of turtles <coughs> that maybe I'd be sick if I ate any more. So today you're lucky, little turtle. But maybe I'll eat you tomorrow. <coughs> Phew! That was a close call. Hey, little turtle. That was a lucky escape from the shark. I guess he's not so hungry for a change. But watch out. When he is, he's a cunning bundle of fins and fangs. Hmm. You're quite young to be off by yourself. No self-respecting mother dolphin would leave her baby to fend for itself. Well, I'm a turtle, not a dolphin. And we're tough stuff. We don't need anyone to look after us. Hmm. I don't know about that, little turtle. I'm a bit worried about this baby turtle. She seems to think that she knows it all. But us older folks know that there's a lot to learn about surviving here. That shark will be back and he'll be hungry. Do you think you can help keep her safe? Every time you see his fearful fin or nosy nose, you yell, Look out! Shark! And the turtle will be able to escape. Let's have a practice go, OK? One, two, three! Shark! Where? Where? It's all right, little turtle. That was just a false alarm. But next time, you be careful. By the way, I'm Dolly Dolphin. What's your name? My name? Oh, I don't think I have one. I hatched out of an egg. So I suppose I'll have to find my own name. How about... Dolly, just like you. Oh, <laughs> I don't think that's a very good name for a turtle, my dear. But I'm sure you'll find something to call yourself. Anyway, I must be off. It's time for me to find some fish to eat. Good luck, little one. 
Goodbye, Dolly. Gee, I'm feeling a bit hungry myself. I wonder what is nice to eat. So the little turtle set off in a quest to find out what turtle should eat. She spent several years swimming around the reef, eating the tiny animals that float in the water and growing bigger all the time. When she was too big to feed on the floating animals, she had to find something more filling to eat. Well now, this looks tasty. It's a lovely colour. Oh, yuck! That's just like eating rocks. What about this? Oh, dear. That's nasty, too. You're nice and soft. Oh, yuck! Oh, gross! Oh, what a horrible taste! I can't eat you. Hello, little turtle. Who are you? And why are you annoying that sea cucumber? Hello. I'm, uh, uh, well, I, I don't really have a name, but I am looking for one. And I was just trying to find something to eat, but everything I tried was horrible. I suppose I'll just have to go hungry. What have you tried? <sighs> everything. Coral, shells, and even that sea cucumber. That was a mistake. Yes, that certainly was a mistake. You mustn't try to eat those. They're full of bad tasting things that aren't good for you. No, that's not what you should eat. Us dugongs like the seagrass. Try some. Now, isn't that better? Oh, yes. Mmm, much better. Thank you so much, Mr. Dugong. So, now that you know what to eat, you won't mind if I give you another little piece of advice about living round here? I think I'll be all right without it. Us turtles can look after ourselves, you know. You're a very young turtle to be so clever. But I'm going to tell you anyway. It's important. You see that bit of misty-looking sea over there? That is a drift net. Yes, yes, we've seen them before. The careless humans often drop them over the side of their boats when they get too tangled or torn to use. What's that got to do with me? I'm not a fish, so I don't have to worry about fishing nets. I'm afraid you do. Fishing nets don't just catch fish. They catch everything. Even big dugongs like me have to be on the lookout for them. Dugongs and turtles both need air to breathe. If you get caught in one of them, you won't be able to get to the surface to take a breath. Then you could drown. Well, thanks for the seagrass and the advice, Mr. Dugong, but I'm sure I'll be all right. Very well then, little turtle. I'll be on my way. Best of luck to you. And don't say I didn't warn you. Mr. Dugong, and the best of luck to you too. Oh, I didn't mean to be rude. I'm just so fed up with everyone telling me what to do all the time. Oh, what? What? Oh no, the net! Uh, I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Uh. Oh, get me out of here! Ha-ha! <laughs> that serves yourself right. You're just lucky I can't get at you right now, or you'd be done for. Hmm. Maybe you're right. That was lucky. I don't like to admit it, but it seems as though Mr. Dugong was right. I must be more careful in the future. The little turtle managed to escape being eaten by the shark for many more years and continued to grow and grow. Now she was nearly full grown and not scared of anything. I'd like to see that shark try and get me now. I'm not scared of him or anything. Oi! Wh who are you? I thought I was the only turtle out here. Why, I'm 
Tristan Turtle. I think we're distantly related. You look like me. Who are you? Oh, I don't have a name. I'm still trying to find one. Well, anyway, I'm glad to see another member of the family alive and doing well. So many of us get eaten, hunted or caught in those horrible nets. You have to be really lucky to survive these days. Tell me about it. What with sharks and all. But now I'm so much bigger, I don't have to worry about sharks anymore. Believe me, there's plenty of other things a turtle has to look out for. Big, noisy boats, for example. Now there's a thought to make your blood run cold. If you weren't already a reptile, that is. <laughs> Funny, that. Bah, Tristan, you're so old-fashioned. What's wrong with a bit of noise now and then? I've got a nice, strong shell to protect me from everything. Speedboats are exciting. Not scary. Zoom, yow! And what if one hits you? What then, eh? Those noisy propellers that make your exciting speedboats go fast can chop off a flipper at the very least. Never mind what else. Your shell may be hard, but a boat propeller is harder and could even break my shell, and I'm much bigger than you. Oh, I didn't realise speedboats were that bad. But I still think they're fun. Yes, well, we'll see. <laughs> Little turtle, you may have grown, but I'm sure I can still munch you and crunch you. Yeah, any time you're ready, Shark. <laughs> wow, that sure was a lucky escape. Come to think of it, I've had lots of lucky escapes. I was lucky to escape the gulls and the crabs and that old shark. Lucky to avoid the drift nets and the speedboats and... Lucky to have so many friends to help look after me. I suppose I am a lucky turtle. Hey, maybe that can be my name. Lucky the turtle. Hey, everybody. I'm Lucky the turtle. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. Lucky the turtle was right. You have to be lucky to survive if you're a turtle. I'm so lucky. I don't have to be scared of anything anymore. Whoa! I'm out of here! Oh, missed again. Did you enjoy our puppet show today? Lucky the turtle really is a lucky turtle, isn't she? There were lots of threats that Lucky had to look out for in order to survive. As a hatchling, Lucky had to avoid being eaten by birds and sharks. But did you know there's lots of other animals that can eat baby turtles too, like crabs and fish? One of the characters asked us to help Lucky look out for sharks. Do you remember who that was? That's right, it was Dolly Dolphin. And it was the old dugong that told Lucky about the dangers of drift nets. Sadly, there are many lost and forgotten fishing nets floating through the ocean that are fatal to many marine animals, such as fish, sharks, whales and turtles. And finally, Tristan Turtle told Lucky to be careful of speedboats. Boats and their propellers can very easily break through the shell of a turtle and can accidentally kill them. Sadly, there are many other human threats that turtles face in the wild, including pollution and climate change. But there are things that we can do every day to help turtles and other animals worldwide. Remember to reduce, reuse and recycle the waste that we produce. If you're out boating, go slow in turtle feeding and nesting areas. And remember to turn off electrical appliances when not in use. This saves us money and reduces our contribution to climate change because hot sand stops turtle eggs from hatching. 
If we all do a little bit every day, it really will help turtles like Lucky to survive. So thank you for watching our puppet show today. Remember, you can download the colouring sheet and worksheet for today's video in the links in the bio below. And stay tuned to our YouTube channel and Facebook page as we bring you more educational videos from Reef HQ Aquarium, the National Education Centre for the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority.